Hi folks, thought I would just check in and see how we're all doing. I've just come back from a couple of weeks being on holiday and um, feel quite refreshed. It's been nice to get away with Maddie and with Jamie. But I just sensed the Lord wanted me to share some things with you now. Here we are, um, 1st of September. It's a time when normally we would be gearing up for kind of slipping back into normal life. Those of us that serve in the church would be considering serving again in the various ministries. But of course, here we are still not quite back to normal just yet. But uh, with that in mind, I just I want to share some words and just a few simple thoughts that that has just come to me now as I was reflecting on a passage of scripture that I hope you find encouraging and I hope bless you. Um, in 2 Timothy chapter 1, the Apostle Paul writes to Timothy, who is technically a pastor of a church there, and he, he, he writes these words to Timothy and he says, he says, I thank God whom I serve with a clear conscience as my ancestors did. When I constantly remember you in my prayers night and day, remembering your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I recall your sincere faith that first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and now I am convinced is in you also. Therefore, I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but one of power, love and sound judgment. Just some thoughts that came to me. Firstly, Paul, Paul writes about the longing he has to see Timothy again. And I think many of us feel that at the moment, don't we? But we long to see one another, not just like this, but of course in the flesh again. We long to see each other and be filled with that joy. Hang on to that longing, folks. Don't let it go. Um, we're meeting tonight as elders and deacons pray for us. And no doubt one of the things we'll be discussing is the return to church at some point. But I hope you're longing still to meet with the gathered church. I know I am. I'm longing for the return to normal, whatever it's going to look like. But keep praying Let that longing um, give birth to prayer for one another. Remember one another and um, let thoughts of one another inspire you to pray. Just rest in the presence of the spirit and see who comes to mind faces, names, and as they do, just offer up a prayer for those people. And then Paul says to Timothy, because Timothy was feeling a bit timid, he says those lovely words, he says, I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is in you through the laying on of my hands. And I just had a sense this morning that the Lord wanted to say to someone out there or some of you, indeed to me maybe, rekindle the gift that God has given you. Perhaps during this season, because you haven't been um, serving in church, the thing that you enjoy, the gift that you have as perhaps it's it's fallen by the wayside, I don't know, or just maybe you need to pick it up again and find a, a new way of using it. But I, But take your gift to God, that longing you have to serve to him and ask him to rekindle it, give you new ways, new avenues, new, um, new places, new spheres where you can use your gift to bless God and, of course, to bless others. And then finally, as we embark on this kind of, um, I suppose, this autumn term, a reminder that we have not been given a spirit of fear, but we have one of power and of love and of sound judgment. There's a lot of things we can fear right now, the unknown and all that stuff, but we're not people that fear. Primarily as Christians, we do not fear the wrath of God. We do not fear his judgment because we have been freed from that through Christ. But let us not fear what others may do or say about us. Let us not fear the, the way ahead, but let us cling to the one whose power and whose love and whose, whose sound judgment can flow through us and help us during these days that we find ourselves in. Folks, I long to see you again. I long to worship with you again. Um, and hopefully that day is coming soon. But I'll be praying for you now and I'll be praying for you um, as we go into this autumn term that each one of you would continue to long for the, to, to worship with the other saints, that you would continue to use the gifts that God has given you and that you will all, 
me included, will not enter this season with a spirit of fear, but we will go in, in the power and in the love that comes from Jesus Christ. So let me just pray for us and let me pray for you now. Heavenly Father, I thank you for those of us that consider ourselves members and friends of High Street Chapel in Hopton. We thank you, Lord, that you see us and you know us and that your plans and your purposes for your people will not be thwarted, come what may. I pray for everybody now as they're watching this, but particularly lift you though, those, Lord, our students and our pupils, our young ones, and all those involved in the school system that as they head back into a, a new season of school with all of the, the issues of, of, of lockdown and COVID and mask wearing, Lord, I pray that they may know the gifts that they have within them and that you will stir them and help them to use those gifts again. I pray, Father, that they would go into this new season with not a, a spirit of fear, but they would go in your power and would, would, would know your love. I pray, Father, for those who are continuing to feel isolated at home, that the presence of the Spirit will really come and manifest himself into their homes this very day. May they know that you are with them, Lord. And Lord, I pray that you would indeed stir within us that desire to meet together again. So when the time comes, we, with, with in safety and, and being sensible, can gather together again and worship you. So Father, I pray that you'd meet with your people now, whoever they are, wherever they are, and whatever their circumstances. May your blessing rest upon them this day in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless and um, hopefully see you soon. Take care.